Hey brothers and sisters, today is June 7th, 2022. I just wanted to share something with you guys. So I'm going to replay this um, video I did about two months ago about a dream I had. So here we go. Hey brothers and sisters, today is April 2nd, 2022. Just wanted to share another dream that I had last night with you guys in a second here. Um, this is a picture of our brother in Christ. His name is Ravi and his wife, and they have 25 orphans. They've been trying to build a house for them for three years. He's currently paying rent for two places and feeding them all. And he's also um, feeding 10 orphans or 10 widows. And this is a picture of them eating in the unfinished house. And they've actually come quite a ways. Um, this is the GoFundMe that our brother Christopher Maskey set up for him. And um, brother Ravi here on the left, um, brother Christopher, he was he was able to preach the gospel on two different um, news stations in India because of brother Ravi. So a lot of people came to Christ through this. This man is so honorable. He preaches the gospel. <sighs> he feeds hungry people all the time. He, he even has health issues and he, he just still keeps going. And he, his faith is so strong in the Lord. It's, it's, he trusts in the Lord so much. He's a really good friend of mine and I dearly love him and these children. So I'm just going to read this to you guys. And then I'll tell you the dream I had last night. Proverbs 19, 17, he that hath pity upon the poor lendeth unto the Lord and that which he hath given, will he pay him again? Hey guys, we need your help. For the last two and a half years, I have had the pleasure of working alongside of brother Robbie from the Bread of Life Children's Home in trying to raise money to build a home for the less fortunate children of Southern India. Great kids, many of which have been abandoned with no surviving family to take care of them. With the help of so many willing don donators, we've come a long way over the last two years. We were able to raise enough money to purchase the land, which was the most important part. And we were able to get some of the construction process going as well. But there is still some work to do before these children can move into their new home. The balance of the required funds needed to fully complete this project is around $20,000 which now is down to $9,000 is what he needs to complete this home. These great kids have been so patient, still living in a tiny apartment while we strive towards the goal of paying off, finishing their well-deserved home. Brother Ravi and his wife work so hard to provide these kids with a family and with love, continue to try and raise them with very limited funding. But above all, Robbie is a devoted Christian who has been sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ with each and every child who comes into his care. I've personally worked with Robbie for years in sharing the gospel, even to the point of working with the local television stations and getting a weekly show aired in which we led the, the loss to the cross of Jesus Christ for salvation. Brother Robbie and his wife love the Lord and the love they have for these children in need is truly a work of God. With that said, we need your help, even if it's just a dollar, a share, a prayer, anything you can do to help get us to our goal is appreciated. We often take for granted what we have, but let us not forget those in need. These children deserve running water, heat, and a home that they can be proud of. Through Jesus Christ, all things are possible. And we humbly ask you today to help us in getting this house built for these children. The Bible says the Lord loves a cheerful giver, one that does the right thing. Remember that, one that does the right thing and helps the less fortunate out of love because the Spirit of God has led them to do so. We await your help. Love you all, and above all, please continue to lift up Brother Ravi, his wife, and these children up in your prayers. 
Below are some pictures of the progress we've made in the building process and our great kids. So now I'm going to share the dream with you that I had last night. So I, I pray for this, this brother and his wife and these children all the time and that the Lord would send people to donate to get this house built quickly. Because even if, I know the rapture is about to happen, but even if these children could enjoy their new home for one day, it would be worth it. So last night I had this dream that somebody donated $1,163 to Brother Robbie's children's ministry. So I looked up the number 1163 in Strong's Concordance. And it means it is necessary, inevitable. It is a duty, what is proper. So I believe that the Lord is, is going to answer this prayer and that this is going to happen. But I'm asking you all for your help. And like I said, even if these children can enjoy their new home that they've been waiting for for three years, for one day, just one day, it would be worth it. Okay, I love you guys. Please help if you can. God bless you all. Hold fast. <clears throat> so very shortly after I did this video and shared this dream that the Lord gave me, very quickly the rest of the money came in and the house will now be completed any day now and they're going to be moving into it on June 15th. It was inevitable. The Lord's hand is on this man and these children and his wife. And I just want to thank everybody who helped them. And I also want to share this update here. I'm just going to read it. Thanks to everyone who has donated and got us to reach our goal. Now that the house is fully built, we are going to keep this GoFundMe page open for some of the interior needs of the children to live in the home that Brother Robbie has told us about. Thank you all, again, for your prayers, donations, and for those who have shared this link. Keep us in your daily prayers for the Lord to continue to see this through and to bless these children as they move into their new home. Below, I have listed the cost of the items that Brother Ravi has sent us. Here is what Ravi has sent me about the needs for the new house. So they're moving on June 15th. The house is pretty much completed now. So Brother Ravi's a good friend of mine and we talk every day. And he's informed me that the first priorities is the bedding for the children <clears throat> and the cooking items. So I'm just going to read all this. The bedding for all the children, 25 children. Each bedding comes to $700. And then pillows comes to $150 for 25 children. Big cooking utensils for cooking food is $150. Gas cylinders and stove for cooking Double burners, big size stove, cost is $120. He's also listed food items for monthly costs for each child is $50 per month. So if anyone is interested in sponsoring one of these children, it's $50 per month, and that would be a huge blessing. Also, he has requested a television for the children to watch. It's $510. A washing machine to wash clothes. It's $500. A fridge to store vegetables, $300.
and a vehicle for the children to travel from the new house to the old village to go to school is $5,000. And that's for a used van, which he showed me pictures of. So the total cost is $7,547. And um, brother Todd, really good friend of mine, has been um, helping with this as well and sharing a lot of these things on his channel. And he also knows Brother Ravi real well. So I'm once again asking, because it is inevitable, the Lord's hand is on these people. He is blessing them. And I'm asking for your help once again to help provide for the rest of the things they need for inside the home. Beds, bedding, pillows, something to cook their food with, a washing machine, and a vehicle to take all the 25 children to school in. The Lord has really put these people in my heart. And I'll never stop asking for help for them. But I need you guys' help. I can't, I can't do this alone. I, I wish I could. I wish I was rich and I could just help people more and just send them what they needed. But I'm not. So I'm, I'm asking you to help me to do this because it is the Lord's will. And we have to be the light and the salt while we're still here. Yes, the Lord is about to come, but in the meantime, we should be being that salt and light and helping those that are less fortunate, especially children. The Lord's heart is with the broken and the needy. So please help you guys if you can. Anything would help. And I'm going to... um post the GoFundMe link below and I'll also pin it in the comment section. I just want to thank all of you. I love you guys and together we can do anything in Christ. God bless you. Hold fast.